Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Stephen Maddy. I'm chair of the Standards and Ethics Committee. I'm joined today by my colleagues Margaret Chin and Karen Kozowitz. The Committee on Standards and Ethics is meeting today pursuant to Section 10.80 of the Council Rules and to address additional and unrelated committee business. Because it is necessary for the committee to discuss confidential personnel issues, I am making a motion for the committee to move into executive session pursuant to Article 7 of the Public Officers Law. Do I have a second? A motion has been made and seconded by Karen Koswitz that the committee move into executive session. All those in favor of said motion say aye. aye. Noting that the ayes have it, I'm now going to close this portion of the meeting and reopen in executive session. Before we proceed into executive session, I will note for the public that the committee may vote on certain items of business during this session, and as a result, there may be an additional open session of the committee later today. Thank you. All right, everyone, thank you for your patience. We're back. Again, I am Stephen Matteo. I'm chair of the Standards, the Committee on Standards and Ethics. I'm joined by my colleagues, Vanessa Gibson, Karen Kozowitz, Margaret Chin, Stephen Levin, and his adorable little daughter. Um, also, Ben Smith, our committee counsel, and Jim Karras, our general counsel. The Committee on Standards and Ethics opened a meeting earlier today pursuant to Section 10.80 of the Council Rules concerning allegations of potential council member misconduct. We also met to discuss additional and unrelated committee business. Because it was necessary for the committee to discuss confidential personnel issues in conjunction with the pending disciplinary matter, the committee voted to move into executive session pursuant to Article 7 of the Public Officers Law. We are now returning to open session to make public the outcome of today's votes. During today's closed session meeting, the committee received information from the Council's Office of the General Counsel regarding potential violations of council rules and city law by a council member. The Council's Office of the General Counsel has undertaken prelim preliminary inquiries into these potential violations, and based upon these inquiries, this committee voted today to open a new matter and authorize a full investigation into the matter. As with all newly opened matters, the subject council member's identity will not be revealed at this time, and their identity will only be made public if the potential violations are found to be substantiated and charges are issued by this committee. Finally, last year, this committee voted to open a matter pursuant to Council Rule 10.80. In the intervening period, the Council took institutional action to address this purported conduct by a Council member. Upon review, the committee is satisfied with the sufficiency of this action by the Council and voted today to close this matter. This concludes our summary of the committee's votes during today's meeting, and the meeting is now adjourned. Thank you.